In this video, we'll take a look at our top picks when it comes to the best stock video sites for royalty-free stock footage, no matter what style of video you're producing. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help you amplify your business and brand with video. If you're new here, then make sure you click that subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. Now stock video footage is incredibly handy when producing a huge range of video content from simple clips that you could use in a video intro or outro to B-roll or C-roll that helps you communicate specific actions, emotions or messages in pretty much any of your video content. It's also a huge time saver as well. But if you're here watching this video, then you already know that there's a ton of stock video sites out there to choose from, and they're definitely not all created equal. So in this video, we're gonna run through my top picks, which projects I use them for, and why. And while I'm running through my recommendations, if you've been using stock footage sites, then let us know your number one pick and why down in the comments below. Now there are so many sites out there, both free and paid. You've got things like Video Blocks, Shutterstock, Invado Elements, Pond5, Pixel Bay, Vidivo, Pexels, Cover, and I'm sure there's a heap there that I've missed as well, but there's, there's a lot of them. So after trialing and testing out a lot of these, I do have a few favorites that we keep coming back to for various projects. So I'm gonna start off with the free options and work our way into the paid options. Now, if you are here looking for free options, then I would suggest at least hearing out our recommendations for the paid options because there is a difference and it can be well worth the dollars that you're spending. Now, just before I get to my recommendations, I do want to stress here that you really need to look at the licensing agreement or the licensing terms, whether you're looking at free or paid stock video footage. If you're going to be using someone else's footage, you need to know what your obligations are. In some cases, there might be none and you might be free to use the footage wherever you'd like. In other cases, you might need to give an attribution or a credit to whoever created the footage. In other cases, you might be restricted on where you can actually use the footage. So it could be solely for personal or private use. Some license requirements won't let you put things on YouTube and some other footage might need to have a totally different license if it's going to be part of a product that's been sold like a course or some sort of training product. So you really need to look at whether you're looking at free footage or paid footage, look at the licensing requirements before you use the video footage. It would be a pain to come back later or to get flagged for copyright infringement later after you've released the video. So then looking at the free sites, my top two recommendations right now are Pexels and StockFootageForFree.com. Now both of these have a decent sized library of stock footage and they both got pretty broad license terms as well. Meaning that in most cases, again, you'll need to look on a clip by clip basis or look specifically at your use case and where you're going to be using these. But these two seem to have pretty loose license terms, meaning that you can use these in most places. But again, you definitely need to check. Now with any of these sites, they're really only as good as their licensing options, but also as good as their library or their catalog of stock footage. Obviously when you're looking at stock footage, you're gonna have something in mind that you're after. It might be a time lapse or a specific scene or action or someone doing a particular thing that you need to use or show in your videos. So generally what you'll find with the free sites is while they have a decent library, they're nowhere near as full or as comprehensive or as easy to search and find the footage as the paid solutions. You'll also typically be limited to lower quality file formats on the free sites. So some of them will only go up to HD and not have any 4K footage. Some of them will only have 720p footage and not even 1080p. So it really comes down to what is your use case. Obviously, if you've got no budget, then some of these free sites are gonna help you. But if you're after the best quality and the ease of use to find these clips, and in a lot of cases, the broader license terms to be able to use them in different places with larger audiences as well, then that's where the paid options are really going to stand out. So my current number one recommendation or the first place that I'd say to go to would be Pexels and have a look on there first. Then as a really close second, I'd say to check out stockfootageforfree.com. This is based on the range of clips available and the quality of the clips, but also the licensing terms as well. I've just found that Pexel is for now a better option. So now moving into the paid options or the professional options. This is where you're gonna see that the quality of the video files are gonna be higher. The library sizes are going to be bigger. There's gonna be a lot more options in there for you. It's gonna be easier for you to find the clips that you're looking for in these libraries because the categorization of the clips and the tagging on the clips is generally on a much, much 
deeper level. And you've generally also got a lot more control around licensing or options around licensing as well to make sure that you're getting the license that is right for you. Now, each one of these paid platforms does have a different offering. So whether you can buy the clips outright or not, whether you've got to join up as part of a membership, a monthly or annual fee, and also how many clips you're gonna be purchasing at a particular time, because some of them will also have bulk licensing or bulk distribution options as well. So my top four are Video Blocks, Envato Elements, Shutterstock, and Pond5. Now Video Blocks is a subscription-based service, meaning that you can't just buy a one-off clip, you need to have an ongoing subscription with Video Blocks to be able to access the footage and to download clips. Now with Video Blocks, you've got two subscription options. You can pay for the basic plan, which will start at $8.25 per month or $99 annually, or you've got the unlimited plan at $16.59 per month or $199 annually. And the difference between the two is the basic plan is gonna give you five downloads of HD clips per month. And the unlimited plan is gonna give you unlimited downloads of HD and 4K clips per month. But it's also gonna give you access to some After Effects templates and some stock motion graphics templates as well. So really for that $199 per year, you get access to log in anytime and download as much footage or as many of the templates as you like for your projects. And that's a huge selling feature here. Now Video Blocks itself is actually broken into two parts. You've got the member library, which is all the content that you get access to on those two plans, the basic plan and the unlimited plan. But there's also the Video Blocks Marketplace, which is a little bit different. And this is where it's user generated content or content creators have uploaded their stock footage for you to buy. Now this isn't included in those fees, this is an additional expense, but you do save 40% if you do have a subscription. So you get 40% off those clips if you're already a Video Blocks member. Now, in my experience, I'm a huge fan of Video Blocks and we do have an ongoing subscription, have had an ongoing subscription with Video Blocks for quite some time. But when I'm searching for stock footage, the clips that I'm drawn to, the clips that I like the most, aren't the ones that are included in the plan, aren't the ones that are included in their member library. The better clips that I'm starting to find now are the ones in the marketplace. So it's no big deal because they're still cheap, but it is an added expense if they're the ones you're going to be using. So that's Video Blocks. The second recommendation I have is Envato Elements. Now this is a really new thing that they've actually got stock video footage on here. Envato is the company that runs Video Hive, which we obviously recommend for a lot of video templates and title templates and graphic elements for your videos. If you're interested in those, I'll put a link up in the cards now. But the stock footage side of this is new. And how they're running it is very similar to video blocks. So it's a subscription based model. So there's a monthly plan for $19 per month. And there's also an annual plan for $16.50 per month. Now both of these plans give you unlimited downloads and they also give you commercial licensing as well, meaning that these clips can be used in commercial projects. Now while the stock video footage library in here isn't as comprehensive as Video Blocks or Pond5 or Shutterstock right now. They are growing it fast, but what you do get in this subscription is access to other things in the Envato marketplace as well. You also get access to a heap of video templates, WordPress themes and plugins, stock photos, presentation and graphic elements, and a heap of design assets and courses and things as well. So it's definitely a much more comprehensive offering outside of just stock footage. But if you are specifically looking for stock footage, the library is okay, but at this point, it's relatively small compared to the others. But at that price point, it's definitely worth a look in. Now, the next two we're gonna look at, Shutterstock and Pond5, are probably in a different league, meaning these ones, you can buy the clips individually. Some of them could be as low as $37 a clip, right up to thousands of dollars per clip, depending on the license and the clip itself. But what you'll find with these two, along with the higher price tag, is that you've got access to so much more stock footage. There is way more in there to choose from and to really help you find what you're looking for. And obviously with all of that extra footage, the search functionality, the tagging, and the coding for each of those clips, they've made it so much easier for you to find the specific things that you're looking for because they've gone to that extra level of detail on tagging and describing all the clips for you. 
So on Shutterstock, you can buy a single HD clip for around $75, but you can also buy a pack of clips as well. So you can purchase five HD clips for $359, 10 HD clips for $699, or 25 HD clips for $1,579. So you can see the more you buy, the cheaper each clip actually becomes. So this is really tailored to more professional corporate productions where you might be buying big chunks of B-roll to fill your documentary or your corporate presentation. So that's the pricing for HD clips. There are 4K video files available as well at a higher price point. So with Pond5, as I said, you can buy the clips individually, starting at around the $35, $37 mark, up to thousands of dollars per clip, depending on the actual clip itself and the license that you require. But they do also have a membership option available as well. So that starts at $199 per month, or you can jump on the annual plan for $999. So that gives you access to download 10 clips per month out of their catalog of over 500,000 clips. And if you've got any downloads remaining in a month, then those downloads will roll over to the next month as well. So you're not losing them every month. You can actually build them up over time if you're not using them. And that subscription also gives you access to HD and 4K video clips as well. So you can see with those four, video blocks, Envato Elements, with Shutterstock and Pond5, they are totally different offerings. While they're all stock footage archives and places that you can buy stock footage and license them for your videos, they're all totally different as well. And their libraries are totally different. And I can't say that enough. You really got to look at first, what clip do I want? And then what license do I need? Where is this video going? And then how much am I prepared to spend to get it? And that's where for us, we're gonna look at video blocks first. We already have a video block subscription at 199 per year. It becomes the absolute no brainer to look there first. We'll then look at Envato Elements to see what's on there and if there's a fit for what we're after at that time. And then for any corporate productions or higher budget productions we'd be doing, then I would look at Shutterstock and then Pond5. But again, it's not so much of go this one, then this one, then this one, then this one. It's find the footage first that is the best fit for your video and then find the license that works for you. And then make sure that you're getting the right license for where your video is going. All right, so those are our recommendations for stock video sites. Now, if you're interested in leveling up your music game inside your videos as well, then there are some awesome stock music options out there. So check out the video linked on screen with our top picks and where we get our audio from. And I'll see you soon.